Hi guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 14 of 100 days 100 concepts and today in this video we will discuss about you know the most requested or most commented topic which is Miller indices. So what is Miller indices? So in previous video we saw that we represent different slip planes, we represent different slip directions right in terms of you know 111, 100 and random stuff but how we get to that particular values those are nothing but my miller indices so what are miller indices so basically miller indices are nothing but the reciprocal of the intercepts okay that are made on the axis now what is this intercept? So we know that we usually talk about 3D space, correct? So X, Y, Z. Let me name it in this manner. So let's assume that I have some Okay, so let's assume this particular thing to be a unit cell with a lattice parameter A. Okay, so now let us say that I have this point somewhere like this, which is number one. How can I represent a point in a 3D space? Obviously, we can easily do it by... Obviously, we can easily do it by representing in terms of vectors x, y, z or whatever it is. So, this point is nothing but 0, 1, 0. Correct? So, this is nothing but the coordinates of point 1. But if I talk about a direction or a plane, how can I calculate? How can I see the intercept? So, let's say I have some plane A, B, C. Okay? So, sorry. This, uh, let us say I have a plane where A, B, C are my intercepts so what will be my miller indices miller indices will be 1 by a 1 by b and 1 by c so this miller indices is what is used to represent that particular plane or that particular direction right now let's uh, simplify that so for example the first step is to calculate the intercepts the second step is to just reciprocate them and finally what we have to do we have to just you know uh, simplify to lower integers okay so obviously you have some higher integers or fractions so what you can do is you can simplify that into lower integers that's why you see in many books the planes or directions are usually mentioned in terms of ones and zeros okay that's because it is lower to a simplified integer now let's come to this particular uh, figure again okay so let's say that i have this particular plane okay so let's say i have this particular plane over here something like this and i want to know the miller indices of it so what is the first step you have to know the intercepts of it correct so i'll just erase this for simplifying for you guys to understand right so what are the intercepts of this particular plane so if you look at that particular plane it is cutting my y-axis at the lattice parameter okay so let's say a it is cutting at a now what about the other intercepts what about the intercept at you know x-axis and z-axis so if you see this particular plane is parallel to both my x axis as well as z axis so just you know you can easily see it is parallel to my xz plane so let us say this is my xz plane some random xz plane okay it is parallel to it so it will not meet the x and z axis at all but what is an intercept intercept is where the plane or the di direction that is cutting the axis so in this particular case it's not doing for both x-axis and z-axis so in this case what we do is we simply take that it is meeting somewhere at infinity right at some infinite point we can say that this particular plane is meeting x and z-axis now what are the intercepts now the intercepts are 
infinity on x a and this is what infinity okay so usually again a is again some you know uh, integer let's say and we are con uh, lowering it in the third step okay before going there you have to reciprocate so this will be what 1 by infinity 1 by a and 1 by infinity again correct and this will be what 1 by a infinity is 0 okay so this can be easily simplified to a lower integer let's say assume let's you know um, bring that fraction to 100 percentage which is taken as 1 in the unit cell so this is a or this is also considered as 1 okay so what is the other one 0 so this particular plane is 0 1 0 okay this particular plane is 0 1 0 similarly let's say uh, i'll take some other direction let me take this direction okay so this is the direction which i just drew okay now how to see that so let's see the intercepts first so in this particular direction the intercept will be what obviously this is the point where you see it and this intercept will be 1 on x axis 1 on y axis and it is what it is not meeting my z axis correct so in this particular case what you can take you can simply write it to be a a 0 okay or you can say this has this is lying on my x y plane okay and in this particular plane you can see that you know it is meeting the z axis at this particular case okay so that particular direction this which we have named here is taken as 1 1 0 okay so usually directions don't need miller indices so what i did did i take any you know intercept or um, reciprocal or something no what i did for a point the same thing applies for the direction okay so directions can easily be represented as vectors okay so i'll write it again my crystallographic planes are represented by miller indices whereas the other two crystallographic planes or any point can be represented by vectors this is an important thing okay so i hope you understood what is a miller indices so how we can do for vector let's say some r bar is equal to u into a bar or x x bar plus v into y bar plus w into z bar something like this some position vector you can write it and here if you see uh, previously i used some brackets so i wrote what 0 1 0 plane and i wrote 1 1 0 direction so if you carefully see these brackets over here which i have used it is also having some meaning so this open brackets are usually used for planes denoting planes and it is usually done as yes, hkl and similarly for uh, this square bracket it is represented for directions okay and usually in generalized way we write it in terms of u v w okay so these are nothing but you know standardized uh, notations for crystallographic planes and directions and of course there is something called family of planes or family of directions what is family family is nothing but set of identical planes okay so you usually have you know many kinds of planes which are parallel to each other identical to each other etc all those set of planes are took into a set which is called family usually family of planes are represented by flower brackets and for directions we use this symbol okay so if i say i have h k l there may be many planes h k bar l h bar k l so there may be all the possibilities in it similarly i can also write u v w family so this is how basically we bought in the concept of miller indices in order to represent the crystallographic planes so what are the three steps once again 
first step is to find out the intercepts on x y z uh, you know axis second step is to just reciprocate them and the third step is to just simplify it to its lowest integer right so i hope you understood and one more thing if you carefully observe there is some change in the blackboard or in the video which you are seeing so if you carefully see here we have upgraded to a new version of our website just within one month of launching the first version we have upgraded to you know a more polished look so do check out go check out everything metallurgy.com right so we are so happy to upgrade our website so thanks for each and every one of you for supporting us buying our test series buying our video series okay so we have you know uh, come forward to a mission to provide most affordable education most uh, you know without compromising on any quality so i hope you like our video please hit the like button it really motivates us and also comment down more topics which we'll select and do the videos to you in this 100 days 100 concepts so thank you guys thanks for watching please share our videos to all the gate metallurgy aspirants and also do check out our new updated website everythingmetallurgy.com thank you guys thanks a lot